Uh, aside from video production, you're also an avid wrestling fan. You have a wrestling merchandise collection that has been valued at between fifteen and two thousand two twenty thousand dollars. So, can you talk to us about this collection of yours? Yeah, well, it, like a lot of things with me, it kind of got out of hand. I'm kind of fanatical about things, and if I'm going to do something, it goes it goes too far. Like I can't moderate at all. Extremities. So it's like I uh, I, I had a few bits of wrestling merchandise when I was a kid, and I put them around my room, and I said to my parents, I'm going to make my whole room into a wrestling collection so you can go in there and you won't be able to see the wall, you won't be able to see the ceiling, and not just because of posters, but because of really like loads of little different types of bits of merchandise. And they said, oh, yeah, that's nice and that, Edward, but you know, you only got a few bits at the moment, and that's not going to happen. And, you know, $20,000 later... It's got way out of hand, and that was uh, that was from when I, I mean I don't live with my parents anymore, but the room is still basically intact because no one has the heart to move it. <laughs> I've got loads of uh, it just got out of hand. Things get things get out of hand, and I can't sort of moderate anything. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, you also wrestled in America. Can you talk about when uh, you wrestled in America? What time? Yeah, it was just a couple of years ago. Because um, what happened was over here, first of all. Uh, is where I started wrestling. Are you familiar with Jake the Snake Roberts? Yes, uh huh. Sure. Well, Jake the Snake Roberts um, trained me, and we got to be uh, friends uh, because what happened was this: I put a advert in a magazine saying that I'd like a wrestling trainer, and I got loads of prank calls at four in the morning, people saying that they're you know this wrestler and that wrestler. And after a while of these prank calls, I started just putting the phone down on people. And one day. I got a phone call from someone who said that they're Jake the Snake Roberts, and so I just slammed the phone down. Right. <laughs> right Although he was, he was, I, I did think that he was doing a good impression of him, right? And he was actually quite <laughs> persistent as well. Well, uh, I come to realise it is actually Jake the Snake Roberts, and so one thing leads to another, and I trained with him, and he's been so like I sort of I won't hear a bad word said about him because he's been so kind to me and my wife. We lived with him in America a couple of years ago. I wrestled in uh, Daytona Beach and South Carolina, and we want to go back there, but we have uh, lots of other things uh, going on, and we we haven't gone back as quickly as we'd liked, but it's still in our future plans. Very good. Yeah. When you returned to UK from wrestling, you were homeless for a while. Can you please talk That's about the experience? Yeah, it was bloody awful. Uh, uh, what happened was the experience to go to America was too good to turn down, but it meant that we didn't have enough money to keep our apartment on, uh, you know, we couldn't pay for the apartment here when no one was here. So we took our, our cats and we um, gave them to my wife's uh, mum, who kindly looked, at, looked after them. Uh, but we were we didn't have a base to come back. Well, after three months, the visa runs out, you see. And so mm-hmm. we came back and we were homeless. And so we had to sort of stay with my parents. And it's really, it was, yeah, it was absolutely bloody awful. Um and the pressure was on because we had cats as well. It would have sort of been somehow less stressful if it was just us. But we had cats to care for. And so after about a week of really intensely trying to find a place, we finally find one. Uh, so, but I wouldn't like to repeat that again. I think if I went back to America, uh, we would have something. We would have an apartment sorted out, ready for when we came back, definitely. <laughs> 